Energy can be transferred between two objects in two ways. First, it can be transferred in the form of work. This is what is meant by applying a force over a distance. This is also the concept behind useful energy, or energy that we can use as human beings to accomplish purposeful tasks. Alternatively, the second kind of energy transfer involves a workless transfer of energy, or energy in the form of heat. Based on the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy is neither created nor destroyed, it means that energy is equal to work plus heat. In fact, we can generalize this concept even further by defining the internal energy of a system. Internal energy, U, is equal to work, W, plus heat, Q, where the internal energy is associated with atomic structures and motions. For example, consider a glass of ice compared to a glass of water. If we only considered the potential energies of the glasses and the kinetic energies of the glasses, we'd find that in both cases the potential and kinetic energies are zero. This is because the glasses are both at the same height relative to the surface, and the glasses are also not in motion. However, there's a clear difference between the contents of each glass. One has ice and the other has liquid water. At the atomic level, the atoms in the ice have less energy. They are locked into a crystal lattice with minimum motion. However, the molecules in the water have more energy of motion as they slip and rotate and move around other molecules. The internal energy of the liquid water is larger than the internal energy of the ice. If we applied heat to the glass containing ice, we would be adding energy to the system to turn the ice into water. Yet, the kinetic and potential energy of the glass would still be zero. Internal energy is what lets us account for these kinds of energy differences. Another interesting implication of the law of conservation of energy is that both work and heat are completely equivalent to each other. If you have a system like a pot of boiling water, there's no way to tell how that water was made to boil. It could have been boiled by the direct application of heat to increase the temperature of the water. However, it is also possible that the motion of the water molecules could have been increased by mechanically stirring them, which also results in the increase of water temperature. Ultimately, there is no distinction to say which approach was used. Work and heat are both forms of energy and completely equivalent.